But you're a Marvel Channel, focus. Why are you covering this? I'm glad you asked. What's up, Society? I'm Focused, and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick thank you to those of you that have been supporting the channel with views and comments and likes and subscribes. Very, very much appreciated. But if you're new here, we cover all of the good, the bad, and the ugly of what mobile gaming has to offer. If that's the kind of content you're looking for, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next video. We also have a 200 plus member for society discord where we continue these conversations outside of the content. If you're interested in joining those conversations, the link will be in the description below. Without further ado, welcome to rogue company. Rogue company is an upcoming third person team based anti heroic multiplayer shooter by the team over at high risk studios. They're known for games such as smite, and Paladins and Realm Royale. But you're a Marvel Channel focus, why are you covering this? I'm glad you asked. Rogue Company will be launching sometime in 2020 on all major platforms with full crossplay, including the Nintendo Switch. Now, I've always considered the Switch a mobile platform since that's its main selling point. Therefore, on the channel, we also cover the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Nintendo Switch platform. Now, Rogue Company has been on my radar since my homie Big Fry TV turned me on to it with his video back in September of last year. I'm gonna link that video above, so go check it out and support his climb to 150,000 subscribers. So, Hi-Rez have been running invite-only alpha tests over the last month or so, and today, they finally dropped a gameplay trailer. Let's dive into it and talk about some of the key things that I took away from it. Now, I'll start this video with a notice that throughout this trailer, you're going to see it tell you that this is alpha gameplay and it is not final. So keep in mind that anything you see at any point could be entirely different from final release. Let's jump in. Right off the bat, we're introduced to what looks like various models of shotguns, Maybe some sort of SMG, but hiding up top looks to be a sniper rifle with that muzzle and a long barrel. We also see here what looks like an assault rifle, another SMG, something that resembles an M1 Garand, and a classic revolver. On their site, they boast that the game will have over 50 weapons and gadgets. Here we see what looks like maybe another SMG, but the color red is what really stands out here. So maybe it's stock, or maybe it's showing off some sort of cosmetic gun skin. Here we see a team of four characters. I wonder if they are class based, or if it's just cosmetic differences between them, or maybe even like a custom character system. This looks like the start of a battle royale where you dive into the battlefield. Now this isn't a battle royale game, but it's a creative way of introducing you into the battle, sort of like what Call of Duty Modern Warfare did for their multiplayer matches. Here we see a couple things. First, we see that this is a 4v4 capture the objective match, and all three players on the screen are currently in a down state and not fully dead. So maybe there's some sort of revive mechanic in the game. Again, another look at an SMG with what could be another cosmetic skin. Here's an aerial overlook of some sort of Brazilian style map that reminds me of Favela from Rainbow Six Siege. Here we see a look at the third person over the shoulder camera view, as well as receiving a thousand dollars for eliminating an enemy. So maybe there could be some sort of buy system like in Counter-Strike Go. Again, another aerial overlook of a map that is giving me really, really big Ilios vibes from Overwatch. Zip lines, dope. Okay, he was downed. But now from his perspective, we see the medic meter refilling and now he's back up. Oh, so it looks like there's going to be some sort of self revive feature. Okay. So a few things here, we see a yellow headshot indicator. 
and a badge referring to headshots, I assume. But more importantly, down here in the bottom right, we see three slots. We see two ability slots that are bound to Q and G, as well as her primary weapon alongside options for a secondary and a melee choice. And finally, here we see the launch platforms and the official website that you can visit to sign up for the alpha and to get more info. Tell you what, I'll make it easy for you and leave that website link down in the description below. Overall, I think this game is looking good. It has a lot of weapons, cosmetics, abilities, objectives, and it's third person. I just hope it has enough to set itself apart from the behemoths that it's going up against. So what do you think after seeing this gameplay trailer? Down off in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. I was able to get access to the alpha today, so once I'm able to share more, I most certainly will. So make sure to give this video a like, click that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next Rogue Company video. I also have a partnered Twitch channel where we go live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings. We play a lot of different things together, we hang out as a community, and we just have a lot of fun. So the link will be in the description below if you're ever interested in joining us during one of our live sessions. Well, there you have it, Fosiety. My name is Focused. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, be safe and take care of each other.